And the following segment is sponsored by Sunflower Association of Realtors, Inc. We welcome Linda Bryden, CEO of Sunflower Association of Realtors. Linda, good morning. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you. It has been quite a year for the real estate market. Um, an interesting year, really, for housing. And I understand there's a shortage of housing. Explain that. Well, that's been coming across the nation for quite a while. There have been articles and some research done as far back as 2010 and maybe even closer to 20, 2008, um, after the recession, the builders just didn't have the funds that were uh, underbuilt right now everywhere. So wow. um, baby boomers are, like me, staying in their homes longer and, and making adjustments. And uh, we haven't had a very robust new housing construction market here in a while, but I think that might be changing a little bit, but the market's still very tight. Yeah, it sounds like it's been kind of a perfect storm of events to, yes. to get to this point. Yes. What is the local housing market looking like? It's still very tight, although I have heard from our members that they think it might be relaxing a little bit, but um, we have uh, up-to-date data that our realtor members use um, with their clients. In the last inventory data that we got for the month of August showed um, 18 days of available housing inventory. So what that means is if no other houses came on the market uh, and houses continued to sell at the pace that they were, there would be no inventory in 18 days. So wow. it's very tight. Yeah, I live out north and it seems like as soon as it's listed, it's gone. Yes, just like that. yes. <laughs> and, and you'll see, I think a lot of times neighbors talk to neighbors and well, I really love your property. Uh, let us know if you're going to leave because we would love to, to have it. And those kinds of things happen as well. Yeah. What advice do you have for, for buyers? Well, um, if you're a first time home buyer, um, you really need to make sure you find a lender that you're uh, pre approved for a certain level. That way you don't shop over your budget and be disappointed. And then, uh, once you get your credit and your lender chosen, then um, I would choose a realtor. Always work with a professional realtor. They have the most up-to-date data on the housing market, on trends, on what's happening with interest, and they have all the connections to help a buyer um, get in contact with people that are professional in their area and will slide the process along sooner. So. Once you start looking, if, if you're a serious buyer, you need to be ready to act right away. Yeah, be ready to act. Mm -hmm. uh, we're almost out of time, Linda, but tell us about the role of Sunflower Association of Realtors. Well, Sunflower Association of Realtors is a membership organization of professional realtors. Uh, realtor is not the same as a licensed real estate agent. You have to have a license to sell real estate in the state of Kansas, but you can't use the term realtor or call yourself a realtor unless you're a member of the National Association of Realtors, which then also includes what they call the three-way agreement. So you're a member of the national, the state, and the local, and uh, ab abide by a very strict code of ethics. I learned something new today. I yes. did not know that. All right. Well, Linda, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us today. You're welcome. And if you have questions or want to learn more about Sunflower Association of Realtors, head to sunflowerrealtors.com.